once again, the kingdoms of Ancient Warfare 3 are in a pitted beach invasion battle. No one knows why there are so many beaches on these lands and why the Reds and Blues love to invade them so much. But here we are. Who will win? The Red Defenders or the Blue Assaulters? What's going on, gamer folk? It's your boy, Daily Productions here, and today we are back with some more Ancient Warfare 3. Uh, we're doing some more D-Day battles today. Ancient Warfare 3, I love the D-Days in this, and it's been like a month since we've done anything D-Day-wise, so, you know, it's about dang time we get back into the swing of things. D-Day is always such a fun concept. There's a reason it's the most popular style of battle in most battle simulators. So I hope you guys don't mind us cruising into another one. If you do enjoy these D-Day battles, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below what you'd like to see tomorrow. Either way, guys, let's get into it. Alrighty then, here we go, gamers. Pressing start right now. And here comes the beach invasion. These guys are going off the world. Okay. Uh, we have a few troopers who have just already landed. A pre-landing, I suppose you could say. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of the boys here coming in slowly but surely. Moving on up in their LCVP landers. We're going to do this in battle simulator mode, I think. I, don't, I won't take control until it's like, you know, really, really essential to take control. Or if I get bored, I don't know. Oh, there's also a... A plane? Did anyone airdrop? Oh, look at that! whole lot of these guys gonna land in the ocean, maybe, but, uh, hey, kind of cool to have an airdrop. There you go. I don't think I've actually ever done Ancient Warfare 3 in Battle Simulator mode for a D-Day invasion, so this is kind of neat. I'm actually surprised all of these bunkers have MGs in them. Is anyone firing? Boys, what the heck? I... I see a few guys firing over here. The MGs aren't really firing, though. These guys even have ammo? Hold up. Yeah, they've got ammo. All right, I'm taking control. Oh, I immediately got shot. <laughs> Wait, so why aren't these MGs firing? Dude, this ain't working out, Chief. The Blues are just coming on in here willy-nilly while the, the red MG42s are barely firing at all. Oh, I got to help out my red bros here. Come on, dude. Oh, no. That looked like... It was coming from the sky. Okay. All right. You know what? We are going to do Battle Simulator. But at this point, the Reds need my help. We can't let this be a completely unfair and uneven battle. We got to give the Reds a little bit of an edge with actually someone firing their MG. You know? It's kind of essential at this point. All right. We got boys coming up the beaches here. Not good, dude. All right. Reload. No. Oh, I got shot up again. Okay, some of the, the red uh, SMG men up top here are actually firing. The riflemen are definitely firing, which is nice to see. I got reload. Oh, I'm getting grenaded, dude. Holy cow. Uh-oh. I probably shouldn't have selected a rifleman. I'd be more helpful with a MG, but it is what it is, boys. All right, I'm getting in the bunker here. All right, all of the blues are coming from over there now. Looks like we do have an MG42 firing away over this way. This is where we make our stand, boys. This is it. The red beach must hold. Come on, lads. It is actually kind of nice having a car 98K here, being able to one-tap from a distance. Ain't too shabalabe. Oh, I think we just killed each other. That was wild. Uh-oh. This is the end. My only friend. The end. Oh, live for as long as we can, boys. This is it. This is the end. All right, MP40 troopers up here. Come on. Come at me, boys. I don't even know if that did all that much damage, to be honest. Nope. No, no, no. Get away from my plane. Oh, God dang it. Final man here. Oh, it tried to take control. He ended up getting kersh splatted. All right, this was a pretty broken D-Day battle, but hey, it seems like a good first try. I, you know, I like the concept, I like the trench, I like all that. It was just a little glitchy, so uh, it turned into a really fun sort of last stand type of deal. I, and I think that's kind of cool. I think that's neat. It's always fun to do a last stand. All right, let's get another map here, guys. Woo! This is the synopsis for the next battle. Midland April. 1905. The Republic asked me to take back this territory, which is in the hands of the enemy. My army stands in front of the army of Super Player, and 
Lando Shark. I'm going to have to be very daring to snatch victory from them, because we are outnumbered. I would divide my army into several armed bodies, allowing easier distribution of orders. Super Player's army is stationed north of my position in a hamlet that they fortified during the occupation. They have cannons on walls. Lando Shark's army is stationed northeast next to a church. It is the larger army of the two. We bombed Lando's position, making big craters. Fortunately, the heavy rain made these craters into swamps, preventing the enemy from forming a battle line correctly. The enemy, however, shot down two of our planes that I used for recognition. Uh, I think that was supposed to be reconnaissance. Uh, on the road, which separates the two generals, is a gathering of all the cavalry of the two armies. Their charge may be terrible. I'm going to advance a small group of soldiers who will serve as bait. The enemy cavalry cannot imagine that our new weapon modifications will allow us to shoot further than they think. The units in their rear will decimate them all, depriving their armies of great strategic maneuvers. To the northeast, most of the troops will advance towards the farm and the front post. Super Playa will think that nobody will come to the hamlet and will bring his army down to the side of Lando Shark. This will reduce the number of defenders on the hamlet. We will take position in the advance of our troopers hidden in the woods. We will take the hamlet and secure it when we will be surrounded the when we will be able to surround the enemy, then we will crush it. I'm not sure if I would be victorious today, but one thing is for sure, many men will not see the light of day tomorrow. Okay, gamers, let's see what ends up happening here. Um, I'm I'm a little confused by the uh, description. It sounds B.A. as all heck and really dope. Uh, however, uh, you know, I just kind of got lost. It was very lengthy. <laughs> so we'll see what ends up happening. Here is some cavalry right there. Uh, here's the fort they were talking about. Pretty sick. Reds are moving out currently. Uh, and there's a few objectives in here that they'll be able to take. It does appear to be a uh, Civil War style battle, I think. Although those kind of look like car 98 Ks, but uh, you know, maybe in lieu of muskets. Although I think this game does have muskets, so I'm not sure. Maybe this is like an alt history war or just before World War One or something along those lines. Who knows? It's kind of cool though. I dig it. The green boys over here engaging with the blue boys over this way. Uh, meanwhile, uh, there's some more troops coming straight down the middle. Not bad. The cavalry has not really done much. Uh, they're not moving out or anything like that. There's also like a little peaceful village. Oh, here's the Red King right there. All right, he's chilling in this village with the boys. Looks like there are some cannons here. Ooh, that guy got killed. You know what? I'd like to see one of these cannons fire off. So let's try and uh, do that for the Reds here. That'd be interesting. See if it can uh, actually fire it. Let's see. These are really hard to fire. It hit the wall and bounced up. Okay, wait. Just give it a sec. Uh, eh, eh. These things are so derpy. I swear, Ancient Warfare 3 really needs to work on the way their uh, vehicles work because they are, it is awful right now. It is like, <laughs> it's so difficult. It doesn't make sense. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, we got one. Not bad. Well, I guess we'll help out the reds a little bit. And then when we die, we'll switch over to the blue team or something like that. I don't know. Could be kind of neat. There we go. We've killed two. Oh, I died. Okay. Well, that didn't take very long. Um. Hello? Am I just dead? What? Ah. Okay. <laughs> Can I not uh do anything? <laughs> I think it's glitched. Um. I guess I'll retry. One sec. Okay, gamers. This time around, we will uh, play on the battlefield a little bit more. Um, I'd like to control, yeah, one of these units, um, yeah, these guys look kind of cool, it's like a black company, very neat, alright, we'll play as the blues here, try this on for size, get into the nitty gritty of the battle a little bit, ooh, one of our mortars just hit that water tower, blowing a couple of troopers sky high from it, not a bad shot at all, boys, wanna see some more of those from y'all, that was pretty good. Firing off to the right. I'm going to ignore it. Yeah, we'll go straight down the middle. I'm hitting a few of their cavalry men with my rifle here. Not too shabby. That's what we like to see. It is what we like to see. Um, There's more troopers over there. All right, I guess I will help out the right a little bit. This seems like the most pressing of areas to uh, assist with. Come on. All right, there we go. Nice job. Ooh, whoa, that's a whole firing squad pointing at me. Try and retreat. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, okay. Get behind the tree. 
Oh my god, this is really bad, actually. Okay. We're still getting some kills, but we're at 15 health now. This is not good. Mm. Come on. Come on, buddy boys. All right. Pushing back, pushing back. Protect me, protect me, protect me. Okay, we're back here. I would love to try out this Gatling gun. Really? That many shots and I didn't kill him. Huh. I just want to try the Gatling gun. I'm actually out of ammo. <laughs> click, 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 click. That guy's tough. He's got some health to him on that Gatling gun, huh? You're a little bit of a, a little bit of a Rambo, huh, buddy? Huh, buddy? All right, we'll start firing. There you go. I needed a gun, but I died. No, is it gonna do the same glitch again? Oh, it is. All right, we'll watch the battle, I guess, for a little while. All right, so since I'm unable to really play the battle, I guess we shall just observe it. Uh, yeah, we'll go 100% speed. You can't really speed it up. You can only slow it down, which is a shame because we've seen the uh, opening of this battle a number of times. I guess we could look at the left. We've been focusing on the right a lot. So where's this company coming from from the left? Um, oh, here. Okay, I see. These gents uh, coming from the mountain, I guess. I guess they saddled down from the uh, the king up here who's got a few, uh, few boys with him. A couple of dudes and one dude's like in a horse. Wow, unique. <laughs> uh, here's the, the right side of the fort with the king over here defending. No one's really on the cannons. They're all just sort of chilling beside the cannons. I would say uh, that's definitely not the greatest way to go about it, but hey. It is what it is, dude. Whoa, whoa, those are some flying logs right there. Watch out, folks. Oh, oh, are they gonna hit him? Nah, that would have been actually kind of sick if that had rolled into like a bunch of these guys. That would have been dope, dude. But sadly, we do not get to see the big boom boom. Sad. Uh, the blues over here exchanging some serious fire with the reds. Trying to get the upper hand. Um, but that's a red spawn point, so it might be a little tougher than just spamming out there. They're going to have to risk some lives doing that. Additionally, over towards the middle, it looks like the blue mortar is actually doing a lot of damage to those reds in there. Meanwhile, there's a blue firing squad just a little bit beyond the horizon. That's not bad in the slightest. The blues seem to be doing pretty well in most areas, tearing it up. We got two lone soldiers back-to-back -back firing here. One shooting at the right, one shooting at the left. Red's coming out of this fort over here. Moving on forward, still no one really using these ramparts. That seems like a waste, but oh well. Meanwhile, large-scale blue invasion over here. Tons of blue soldiers coming on forward, firing as they go. That's how it's done, baby. What are they shooting at over here? Oh, I guess there's a red trooper over that way. Interesting. Very interesting. Yep, more blue still firing away down the middle and on the far right. These guys are making it to this flag now, including our friend the Gatling Gunner. He is really spearheading this fight. Honestly, this guy is probably the most effective battler on the battlefield right now, except for maybe the mortars. But, I mean, we saw this guy tear it up earlier. I think he is seriously doing some damage, which is good to see. It is just an outright firing line over here. Y'all just got to make the push a little bit further in order to cap that flag so they stop spawning. It doesn't really matter if they spawn because they're immediately getting gutted. But you still kind of want to prevent it. And also, it would supply the blues with their own um, troopers. If they cap that, they'll start spawning there. And that can reinforce them. And then they can push further and further into this fort itself over here where the reds are just sort of constantly coming from. Straight down the middle. Progress seems a little bit slower. These guys have a lot of terrain to cover uh, before they're sort of matched up with their folks over there uh, because the, the points like deeper in there. Deep, deep, deep. Uh, meanwhile, the far left though, the blues are cruising on in here. This could be a nasty little choke point, but I mean the reds really only have riflemen to do anything. So the choke point won't be super effective, I take it. You know, riflemen aren't the most effective at holding choke points as opposed to some sort of machine gunner or anything along those lines. So I think the blues might be able to handle this. They could also kill the king right here, and that would be pretty devastating for red morale, I feel like. Let's see if the king does end up going down to the incoming blue fire here. He's just sort of standing there. He's just chilling. He's got his sword. He's looking around. You know, he's chilling. That's all we can say about that. He's just a gamer. Oh, he's going in. Look at this. He's charging. The charge and charge. He dies. Okay. Nice. <laughs> well, the blues are actually losing a lot of troopers, but mainly just because the reds keep respawning here. The reds respawning is actually, uh, you know, forcing these guys to 
stand and fire instead of go and actually take the flag and then they you know they get overwhelmed by the number of troopers so they are dying pretty good here and it looks like they're not really getting any reinforcements over that way uh, down the middle, these guys getting closer and closer to their objective. Taking a real long time, though. These guys have finally taken their objective on this side of the battlefield here. Looks like we've got ourselves a um, chain gun over this way. It might start firing away. Come on, baby. Fire. Get some good fire out there. Make it happen, buddy. He's not really doing much, I don't think, right now. Maybe he's out of ammo. He has been firing a lot. Whoa. Mortar shell over here really decimating that feller. He is down for the count currently. Wowza! Wowza indeed. Well, the Reds are getting heavily pressured now. They only have 20 soldiers alive on the battlefield. Meanwhile, the Blues have 84. The Blues inevitably did actually end up taking this flag over here. That is very surprising. I'm actually a little bit shocked by that. Oh, it looks like maybe some re Red victory? What? Red victory? The Blues are dominating! Whoa! Maybe there was a point balance or something like that that we just couldn't see on the battlefield and it was going on in the background. I'm not sure, but apparently the Reds won. Okay, that was a, a fast cut to the end of the battle. I thought we had a lot more to go. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you want to see some more Ancient War here at 3. Subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to hit the like button. I'll see you all later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.